Democrats celebrate as President Barack Obama's successful re-election is announced. The noisy young crowd cheered on by the dawn of another four years of an Obama presidency. It was missteps by Romney during key moments of the 2012 campaign that were pounced on by Democrats. All right, there are 47 percent who are with him, who are dependent upon government, who believe that, that they are victims. Wide dissemination of Romney's comments about the 47 percent uh, certainly uh, helped the Obama campaign portray him as somebody who was out of touch with um, the electorate. That's a sentiment echoed in the crucial swing state of Ohio. They reinforce an image of him as someone who is out of touch with ordinary people. Romney successfully put his campaign on firmer footing after the first presidential debate in which Obama looked lackluster and disinterested. Obama's performance and Romney's um, surge in the polls after the first debate was actually important in tightening the race up. Key to voter sentiment in the Midwest was the state of the auto industry. Obama ran heavily on the federal government's successful bailout. In response, in TV ads, Romney claimed Jeeps were going to be built in China. That message struck many Ohio voters as not being truthful. If you're talking about autos and bailouts in this state, even people who don't read the paper know what's going on, and that was a sad attempt to try to turn it around. Second guessing after an electoral defeat is second nature in politics. But it's not the case that election outcomes are almost are primarily the outcomes of how good a campaign a candidate ran. Most of it has to do with, with things that are sort of baked in to the political context early in the election. The glow of victory will quickly fade from the president's win. Then the bigger issues, the battered economy, high financial anxiety, and a stubbornly high level of unemployment will once again take center stage. Tracy Brown, Associated Press.